Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Uh, today we're going to be continuing our series on how to work with maps in the Drupal CMS. In our last lesson, we talked about the leaflet uh, map module, uh, which is um, uh, a kind of um, mapping system similar to open layers or the Google Maps. Uh, but, but this one is more than lightweight, uh, scalable performance is wonderful and several other things. Uh, today we're going to be looking at two modules you can use uh, in combination with the leaflet module. The first one is uh, the leaflet more maps and the second one is the leaflet uh, mark, marker cluster. Uh, at the moment you find out that the only map you're allowed to use when you install the leaflet module is the OSM uh, map. Uh, but with the leaflet more maps you get more options i think we have over 20 other attractive map styles that you can use with the leaflet module and with the leaflet marker cluster um, you are able to create a cluster of different markers on your on your uh, map for example say you have um, branches of uh, your companies all over the world say you have um, 20 in africa 10 in europe 15 in south america and stuff like that you are able to cluster them. So for example, if you look at here, you have 16 here, 16 branches here, for example, 32 branches. And when you zoom in, it begins to uh, uncluster, should I say decluster, or whatever English works better. And then you can see uh, all this. So to start out, uh, let's go ahead and download uh, the leaflet more maps module and the leaflet marker cluster. So let's begin. Uh, I do drush, download the leaflet, underscore marker cluster and we also download the leaflet more maps leaflet underscore more underscore maps once these two modules have been downloaded uh, the leaflet more maps uh, does not require a library if you've already installed the leaflet library uh, however, the leaflet marker cluster uh, needs a different library of its own, which you can download from here. I've downloaded mine and then extracted it here, the leaflet marker cluster. Make sure it's underscore marker cluster according to the instruction given here. Uh, once we've downloaded our modules, the next thing is we enable our modules. Try to enable uh, leaflet underscore marker cluster and uh, leaflet underscore map more underscore maps and then we say yes right now that our modules have been enabled the next thing you're going to do is start working uh, with the leaflet marker cluster uh, for this example i've gone ahead and i've created uh, my own contents uh, that we're going to be using for the cluster because I do not want to start creating them. In case you've, this is your first time of um, following this tutorial, I advise you to watch your first tutorial on leaflet. So you want to create a content type, which I've created of type leaflet, and I have added contents uh, to this content type. And so let's go ahead and see what the map looks like. Structure, uh, views, and this is leaflet. And then we'll go ahead and see what our page uh, looks like so if we go ahead and click view page it should open a map and uh, we should see already our cluster taking action already so for example here we can find three uh, branches of our company here and five in Manchester we've got three in Liverpool five in Manchester so when you s zoom in uh, you see it, it uh, kind of uh, separates them and the moment you zoom out it begins to uh, Put them in a cluster depending on uh, the geographic location as you zoom in and zoom out so if i zoom now it takes you to three if i come here four one if i zoom in here it separates them zoom in there separates these ones zoom in there. Uh, so that's how the marker uh, cluster emoji works so let's see how the drupal more maps works so if you've created uh, your view uh, assuming you follow the first tutorial on the leaflet emoji I click on edit view and let's go to our settings now we should find more maps uh, listed here so we can go ahead and choose whatever one we like say for example we choose thunder forest transport 
click on apply and once it's done we click on save and once that saves it for us we should see our new map so this is what our new map looks like uh, so you can see with the leaflet module you can have uh, more maps uh, that you would like and uh, yeah so this is how we use the Drupal leaflet more maps module and the leaflet marker cluster module. I'll see you in the next tutorial.